Dobar dena. So when I got this uh, pulley, I instantly thought that I want to restore it. You just had to wait four years. <laughs> It's clearly visible that this is a very old piece because all the steel hardware is um, definitely made uh, by uh, a blacksmith. I can see a forge welt on this band and a forge welt on this ring. So this is a really old piece of history. And despite the uh, wooden body, it's not in that terrible condition. I had to wire brush the steel and it still can be usable, I believe. And for the body, I think uh, I'm gonna go with the apple tree, uh, wood or plum tree, just because I have a whole stack of it. When I cut the trees and brought it to, to the sawmill, I wasn't experienced enough about this wood type and I asked them to mill it to one inch thickness uh, boards and it was a major mistake because uh, this fruit wood tends to cup and bow really severely. So those boards are not uh, usable for any furniture except some details and accents. But I think I can, uh, I can use some of the pieces for this one. So this should look very, very interesting. Plus, uh, Apple tree and plum tree are really, really, really hard uh, wood, so it's perfect for this uh, type of application. I guess let's take this uh, thing apart. <laughs>
Here's the thing, I almost started uh, shaping this one, but I thought uh, I should check uh, the dimensions of that uh, steel ring, and I'm glad I did. Somehow I made this one uh, two centimeters too thin. So I quickly built a couple of uh, thin pieces, which I can glue on on this, I didn't have to cut it uh, uh, lengthwise. So this gave me the opportunity to use this, to cover this, uh, these joints and make it uh, a bit uh, neater. So it appears that this mistake even improved the project. Let's carry on.
So how cool is this uh, pulley? It looks amazing. So please let me briefly explain what, uh, what I was doing. So for, to, to remove the rust, I used this uh, Rustico. It's just the product was uh, easiest available for me, so I chose this one. Maybe there's a better products on the market, but I'm not sure. But this worked out pretty well. I just had to do it in three cycles. Even though it states that it's very uh, user-friendly, but I have a suspicion because the smell was like uh, hydrochloric acid. So I made sure to use all the precautions. Uh, plus, uh, once the cycles uh, were done, I washed it in the soapy water to neutralize the acid. I had a bit of a problem with this uh, wedge, actually not with the wedge, but more with the band, because once I uh, took apart this whole thing, uh, the band sprung outwards. And once I checked the dimensions, uh, I forgot about that. And that's why this wedge was a bit uh, too, too wide. So at this point, I chose to grind it down and just drive it in. I don't think anybody will notice that it's a bit uh, thinner. And also I was missing one of these nails. Initially I thought that I will not put that nail in just to uh, make it as authentic as, as it is. Uh, but I forgot about that. And when I was drilling the holes, I drilled all four of the holes and there was no turning back. So I quickly made a nail replica and it's gonna be just fine. So the last step is to 
find a purpose for it. So sincerely thank you for watching and see you on Sunday. Bye-bye.